Hey YouTube, so I'm on summer break right now and I was at a party the other day when my friend Joel, you've seen him a bunch on the channel, he turned to me and he said, hey Alec, do you think you could build me a keyboard? Now, my real life friends know this, but YouTube doesn't really know this, I think. I used to be really, really into keyboards about one or two years ago, like my own keyboard, uh, the Jim MK Pro. I built this for $400 by myself, so yeah, I used to be really, really into keyboards. Only thing is, it's kind of hard to film keyboard content, especially when you don't really know how to do it or you don't want to do it. That's why I just never filmed it. So. I recently got my hands on the Sherman Bare Bones 75% board. It comes with stabs and a knob for like 30 bucks. This is great. I, like Joel, he specifically said that his budget was like around $100. So basically I put together this little keyboard kit um, out of used parts and also parts I found on like Banggood for about 85. Hot swap. Um, they're plate mounted stabs, which isn't the greatest, but they have a volume knob, which is cool. Um, for the switches, I spent about $30 on a, a set of Gateron Reds. Like, I know Gateron Reds aren't the greatest switches in the world, but Joel asked me for browns. And I was like, no, I'm not getting you browns. I refuse to get you browns. And he's like, just get me whatever you want then. My favorite switch are linear, my favorite switches are linear switches. The ones I use in my uh, Gem MK Pro are the Bunny Girl uh, switches from Rocket Keys. That was a limited run, so I can't just give him those. So I had a bunch of uh, Gateron Reds laying around, so I was like, okay, I'll use that. And for the keycap set, I bought like a $30 uh, Gem MK Red Samurai clone off of Banggood and waited the shipping for like two weeks, and it came. That was pretty good, so the budget's really tight, but... Uh, I want to get this keyboard built. I want to show you guys his reaction when he sees it. I have a feeling it's going to be pretty good. So without further ado, let's get going. Before we move on with the regularly scheduled content, I'm really happy to announce that this video is made in partnership with Honeygain. If you want a free, effortless, safe, and passive way to make more money, I would really suggest checking out Honeygain. It is an app that lets you share bits and pieces of your already public internet traffic with large companies in return for compensation in the form of money. All you have to do is download the Honeygain app on any Mac, Windows, iOS, or Android device and create an account to begin data sharing. Also, if you use my referral link in the description down below, Honeygain will personally give all of my viewers who use the link an immediate $3 signup bonus. Personally, I've been using Honeygain for the past two years and I can say that it's completely safe, completely legit, and it doesn't affect my gaming performance in any way, which is great. It's a really good way to get a little bit of extra money on the side in order to help pay for things like a Netflix or Spotify subscription, or just to have some extra cash to go straight into my wallet. But without further ado, let's get on with the video and thanks again to Honeygain. So here's the board. Uh, first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take it apart and see if I can do a tape mod or a napkin mod to this. Basically, for the people who don't know, the tape mod is where you take the back of the PCB inside of the board and you put painter's tape on it. And what that does is it makes the keyboard sound a lot more full. Since this is a really cheap plastic like frame, the, when you type on the keyboard, it'll feel hollow. Yeah, it feels hollow, but when you put painter's tape against the PCB, it kind of reduces that hollowness sound and makes it sound a little more high quality than it is. Same thing with the napkin mod. Essentially, you just take like a cloth napkin and you put it underneath the PCB. It doesn't affect the performance of the keyboard in any way. It just makes it sound a little more solid than it actually might be. So we're going to do that really quick. Oh, it's already got foam inside. Oh, that's huge.
so now that the board itself is put back together, uh, I'm gonna do the, st the stabs next. So what normally people do with the stabs is they take out the sta stabilizers and they lube them, they clip the, uh, the little prongs on the edge of the stabilizers just to make it like rattle less. So I'm gonna do that really quick. Um, they came with lube on the stabilizer already, but it's nowhere near enough and then they didn't clip the prongs. So I'm gonna do that really quick. And for the stabilizer, stabilizer lube, I'm using the Super Lube Multipurpose. Um, all you do is you take a little bit of the lube, squeeze it out of the tube, and then dip the stabilizer in to get a solid amount. Um, you can never go wrong with uh, Super Lube, in my opinion. And then once we get the lube on there, we're gonna put the stabilizer back in place and we're gonna do the other side. And now all I have to do is do this for all the stabilizers on the keyboard and put them all back in. All, right, all the stabilizers have been lubed and clipped and now it's time for the switches. And our switches, we have a full set of Gateron Reds completely lubed that I salvaged from a different keyboard of mine. So uh, let's just snap them in and that'll be it. And lastly, the keycaps, we have the Red Samurai set that's like a clone from Banggood that I did buy. Uh, it's pretty cool, link in the description down below if you want to get it, it was like 30 bucks. Okay, I think the keyboard, it looks good. It looks really good. Um, I'm gonna plug it into my laptop, do a key test, and if it is ready, I will give it to Joel today, so yeah. Everything looks about good. I'm gonna put it back in the box and I'll bring it over to meet Joel at the gym right now to give it to him. I'm gonna go to the gym right now to meet Joel and Kevin and Mark. I think we're gonna do a little bit of working out. Um, not too much though, but we'll pass off the keyboard I guess after we're done. And then we'll see if we want to do anything else after, but who knows, tentative. We just finished the workout, so I'm gonna go get the keyboard from Maka. Are you Here's recording? The keyboard. Yeah, it's already recording. Here's the keyboard. Ooh! Um, not as cool as the briefcase Mark's keyboard comes in. Mm. Yeah. But, um, this whole week's just a keyboard dedicated week. Oh! No. Yeah. 75% uh, volume knob as well on the top Ooh, right. Ooh, that does <laughs> it's, a, it's a clone set. I figured. Obviously. Ooh, that's yeah, nice. Yeah, they look too shiny to be real gym guys. They're a PBT. Yeah, so this is yours. Oh, there's a cable in the box as well. Mm. Oh. oh, yeah. But since we're gonna go eat, um, you wanna keep it in the car? Until yeah, let's just keep it in the car until like, like we come back. Okay, yeah. here, just put it back in the box. Okay, so, but like that's actually really fucking fire. I'm glad it has a knob. That's cool. yeah, it's a volume knob. Oh yeah, no, he messages me like late earlier today. And he was like, it has a volume knob, and I'm like, what? Fire! Um, yeah. I dude, I love the volume knob. All right. Are we fattening up today? Pac-Man. Pac-Man. Yeah. You know exactly what I'm gonna do, Joel. Alec, I don't know if I've explained this to you. The last time I was go, here, go walk, I got a, the, go walk him up to the. Thing. I got a bowl. <laughs> Can I bother you to fill this up with uh, cookie dough bites? Yes, please. Cookie dough bites? Huh? Oh, man. Oh, what? You can do that? Yeah. Wow. But what the frick? All cookie dough bites. I don't want to hear that from your like, gravy-looking okay. Thanksgiving dinner. You know, I think I have the most normal ones here, I'm not gonna lie. How? This is chocolate, chocolate, like... 
Okay. That looks like you're trying to make like a Thanksgiving like dinner and you mix okay. it Okay. Woo! Made it home. All right, so we gave Joel the keyboard. Mission is complete. Um, let me know if you guys enjoyed this type of small content type of video. I'm planning on doing a lot of these since it's summertime and we have to kind of farm content while I still can before I move to college, you know. So, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I'll be sure to come out with more videos over the course of summer. I've been having a lot of fun. And uh, thank you guys so much for watching again. Subscribe, like the video, and I'll see you guys around. Also, be sure to check out Honey Gain. Link is in the description as usual. And um, without further ado, that was it for this video. I'm signing out. Peace.